What's up Raiders? It's your boy the Groovinator here and we're just rolling down the pipeline with more and more Marvel news. Uh, now as of today we've got Angelina Jolie reportedly in talks to join Marvel's The Eternals. Angelina Jolie could be joining the Marvel Cinematic Universe someday soon. According to Hollywood Reporter, the Oscar-winning actress is in negotiations to star in The Eternals, another of Marvel's more obscure properties that's about to head into the mainstream. <clears throat> The film will explore the titular superhero team who regularly do battle with their evil counterparts, the Deviants, created by an alien race known as the Celestials. The Eternals were originally intended to be Earth's defenders. The new project is said to be focusing on a romance between Icarus, a man who draws his power from the cosmic energy, making him practically immortal, and Circe, a brilliant female Eternal, who has the ability to alter her appearance and often prefers to live among mortals, according to THR. It's unclear that the role of the 43-year-old actress is up for in the film. The Eternals will be directed by Chloe Zaho, the writer, from a script by Matthew and Ryan Furpo. The project is slated to go into production in August. Although Joe Lee hasn't played a superhero before, she has headed up comic book adaptation. In 2008, she starred in the big screen treatment of Mark Miller's Wanted alongside Morgan Freeman and James McAvoy. The acclaimed actress has worked with Disney Marvel's parent company for years, starring in Maleficent 2014 and the upcoming sequel Maleficent Mistress of Evil, which arrives October 18th. So, yeah, um, what do we think about this? I, again, you know, it, it's just, it feels like just comic book, comic book, comic book, comic book. I mean, in my last video, I kind of commented on this a little bit. I want to bring it, you know, it, the Red Letter Media put out a video recently. They reviewed us, and I just watched it last night, and they made a really good point that I kind of want to hit up on because I feel the exact same way, and I've not really been able to bring it to words in quite the way they did. But basically... The modern cinema is like the amusement park, okay? You just get the big high-profile films and, like, the little obscure indie films and stuff like that. You got to go out and look for those. You got to find them. There's no marketing for them. So Disney and Marvel, they treat their movies like amusement park rides. It's all about butts and seats. And right now, the hot ticket is, is all the comic books that nobody buys, right? It just seems... It's so strange that I live in a time where Comic book movies reign and comic books themselves fade. You know, I mean, they're talking about actually closing Marvel Comics. I don't think, I never thought that in my lifetime I could fathom a world without Marvel Comics. They've been around since before I was born. I mean, a lot of the ones I, I read DC and Marvel when I was a little kid. Like I said, I wasn't as big of a, a comic book nut as most people that I know. So I don't really have any investment. I don't know anything about the Eternals or the Celestials or the Deviants or any of these kind of people. If you guys do, leave me some comments down below and, you know, maybe tell me a little bit about it. Are we excited about this? I don't personally have anything against Angelina Jolie. I, I, she's a little strange, but I have liked her in some movies. Um, Wanted was kind of a fun movie at the time. I don't think it's aged well. It was... Definitely strange and bizarre, but it kind of came out at that time when movies were kind of going over-exaggerated and a lot of bullet time and weird special effects, and I think it just kind of fit into that that sort of era, you know what I mean? And of course Angelina Jolie played uh, Laura Croft, Tomb Raider, neither of which of those movies really impressed me all that much, sorry. I know some people love them, but they're just, uh, I don't know, they just... Uh, they weren't quite bad enough to fall into the Raiders of the Lost Ark style cheese, and they weren't good enough to be considered great movies. You know what I mean? They're kind of middle of the road, not really worth talking about on my side. But uh, yeah, so, you know, uh, and Marvel's going to basically focus on the female. Um, I'm okay with that as long as the stories are good. If it's just going to be... Somebody posted on one of my videos yesterday, and I don't know if you want me to mention your name or not, so I'm not going to do that to you, but they mentioned that diversity is fine unless it's diversity just for the sake of diversity. Like, for example, all of the action movies that are coming out that just take all the males out, replace them with females, and then do the exact same thing. 
and also meanwhile talking down to the males that kind of stuff uh doesn't work okay i the last time i can think when uh when a female put into a male franchise really worked was mad max fury road because even though the movie is called mad max fury road and mad max is still the star the co-star or supporting actress was Charlize Theron, which Charlize Theron was fucking awesome in that movie. I absolutely love Fury Road. I would like to see her back in another episode. I mean, really, she was awesome. You can do strong females in movies and, and, and make it work. You know what I mean? As long as it's not condescending to your male audience, we're on board. We're okay with it, all right? We just don't like Brie Larson, okay? Just not her. Anybody but her, okay? So anyways, uh, what do you guys think of Angelina Jolie jumping into the MCU? Hell, everybody else does, right? Uh, leave a comment down below. Make sure you like on this video or dislike it. If you don't, I'm sorry. I'll try to do better next time. Please make sure you subscribe to my channel. Things are just going to keep getting better from here. Make sure you share us around on the web. Make sure you visit the website right below my, my beautiful face right here. Uh, you guys have yourselves a groovy day. This is the Groovinator signing out. Peace.